What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today, I've got a grammar lesson for you on causative structures. I think it's a very useful grammar point. Causative verbs are used to show that something or someone caused something to happen. Today, we're going to cover five causative structures. The first one, to have or to get something done. The second one, to have something done. The third structure, to have someone do something. The fourth, to get someone to do something. And number five, to have someone do something or doing something. Just to warn you that maybe during the class you hear some noise and it's because it's fires in Valencia. If you don't know what fires are, you can check out one of my lessons in which I talk about this local festivity. You can find the card right here. And now, without further ado, grab a pen and your notebook and let's kick off. So let's break down the first causative structure, which is to have or to get something done. We use it to say that other people do something for us. They can be services or things we can do or don't want to do ourselves. This structure emphasizes the action rather than who performs it. Two examples, the first one, I got or I had my computer repaired. It means that I didn't repair my computer myself, it was another person who did it for me because I can't repair a computer. I don't know how. If you want, it's not necessary, but you could say who performed the action. For example, I had my computer repaired by Rafa. It's a kind of passive voice. And one more example, I have or I get my hair cut every three months. And if I want, I can say who performs the action, who cuts my hair. I can say I have or I get my hair cut by Sveta. Sveta is my hairdresser. We can use both to have and to get, but to get is more informal than the verb to have. And one more thing that we have to bear in mind is that we need to conjugate the verbs to have and to get and to use them in the correct grammar tense. Now we're going to look at eight sentences in different grammar tenses. The first one, she usually has or gets her nails done. Present simple. Number two, he had or he got his eyes checked yesterday. Past simple. Number three, I've got or I've had my car MOT'd today. Present perfect. Number four, I'm having or I'm getting my electric scooter repaired. Present continuous. Number five, I'm going to have my makeup done. In this case, it's future with to be going to. Number five, they'd like to have or they'd like to get their wedding planned. Number seven, you should get or have your mole removed. In this case, we've got a modal verb, should. And number eight, have everything sorted out by tomorrow. In this case, we've got imperative. And now let's move on to the second causative structure, to have something done. We can only use to have and not to get when we want to say that something bad or unpleasant happened to someone or their belongings. We didn't organize it. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, he had his car scratched. Number two, he had his leg broken at war. And one more example, they had their hometown destroyed by occupiers. And now let's move on to the third structure, to have someone do something. In this case, we have to use bare infinitive. Infinitive 
without to. To have someone do something not to do. So we use this structure when we want to say who performs a service or does something for us. It usually implies that there is a professional relationship, that it's a paid service. Not always, but very often. So unlike the first structure, this one emphasizes who performs the action. We also use this structure to instruct someone or ask someone to do something for us. Let's look at some examples. The first one, I'll have my assistant send you the contract. So it's like, I'll ask my assistant to send you the contract. Number two, she has a nanny pick their children up. Number three, I have Paco repair things around my house. Number four, they had me give a presentation. And one more example, in this case, imperative, have James set up a meeting. And now let's move on to the fourth grammar structure, to get someone to do something. Unlike in the previous structure, here we have to use infinitive, to get someone to do something. We use this structure when we persuade someone to do something. And the structure is very common in the workplace when we want to tell someone to get someone else to do something. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, I want to get him to move to Spain, which means I want to persuade him to move to Spain. Number two, I got him to come with me. Number three, get Mary to translate this document. And the last example here, get Jake to go over the contract. And now let's move on to the last structure, to have something or someone doing something or do something. Infinitive without to. We use it to talk about an event or an experience. We use ing to talk about an event in progress and infinitive without to to talk about a completed event. Two examples, it's nice to have the sun shining, not today, unfortunately. And one more example, I had a dog follow me home yesterday. And one more thing, we can also use ing to describe an ongoing action that something or someone is causing. Some examples, the first one, the boss has them working like crazy. Number two, the meme had me laughing so much. And one more example, the pandemic has a lot of people working remotely. And before we do a quiz, I want to tell you that sometimes to get something done can be also used to mean that you do something yourself. And it can be really tricky to know when you do something yourself or when someone else does something for you. Let's look at some examples when the meaning is that you did something yourself using the structure to get something done. The first example, I've got this table assembled. In this case, it means that I assembled this table myself and we use this structure to show that it was challenging but I managed to assemble the table. I managed to achieve my objective. So in this case, we can use this structure even though it was me who performed this action, not another person. The second example, I'll get the washing done if you clean the bathroom. In this case, it also means that I'm going to do the washing. And in this case, we mean that I'm going to do my part if you do your part. The third example, I'll never get it done by tomorrow. The same, I'm doing this action and by using this structure, I want to say that I won't be able to finish it by tomorrow. And one more example, I've got myself stuck in this mess. In this case, I use this structure to mean that it was my fault. 
And now we're going to do a quiz. There will be 10 sentences focused on what we've seen today. The first sentence, I'll ask my secretary to send you the information. I want you to transform this sentence and use the verb to have. And now I'm going to give you the correct sentence and it's, I'll have my secretary send you the information. Number two, my house has been broken into twice. So now I want you to transform this sentence and use the causative structure. The sentence would be, I've had my house broken into twice. In this case, we can only use the verb to have and not to get because it's something unpleasant and we didn't arrange it. The third sentence, my windows were cleaned. And the correct answer would be, I had or I got my windows cleaned. In this case, we can use both to have and to get. Number four, I asked him to fix my washing machine. I want you to use the verb to have. And the correct sentence would be, I had him fix my washing machine. Number five, I persuaded him to let it go. A similar sentence would be, I got him to let it go. Number six, I'll ask her to translate this document. I want you to use the verb to have. And a similar sentence would be, I'll have her translate this document. Number seven, the ironing is done. Transform this sentence and the subject you have to use is I. And the correct sentence would be, I get or I have the ironing done. Number eight, I persuaded him to apologize to her. And the correct sentence would be, I got him to apologize to her. Number nine, my car is being parked. And a similar sentence would be, I'm having or I'm getting my car parked. And last but not least, number 10, ask James to put off the meeting. I want you to use the verb to get. And the correct sentence would be, get James to put off the meeting. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this lesson and please let me know how this quiz went. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned something new and useful. And guys, if you found this lesson interesting and valuable, please don't forget to like it, to subscribe to English Bits, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram where I teach English every single day. Thank you for having watched this lesson and see you on Wednesday with a short and next Sunday with a long lesson as usual. Thank you for joining me today and have a nice Sunday. Ciao for now!